Okay. I've wanted to say this for a really long time. Here is the biggest issue that I have with Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Okay. I I think it is the biggest waste of potential in the entire franchise because his first movie was not that bad. It had good, you know, we talked about the 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 script was pretty good. I, the tr- characters were trashy, but I can I can get over that. The cinematography was good. Michael looked badass. He was ripped. He was ready. The acting was great. Here's the problem with H2. I love the first 20 minutes of that movie. Take out the two guys who are having the disgusting conversation in the van. Yeah. But like showing them, you know, showing Lori walking through the streets with a gun and Brackett finding her and taking her to the hospital. The whole hospital scene was, was fantastic yeah it was, it was like, spot on like i remember watching that in the movie theater and being like oh you know what i mean like it, it you see that and you're like holy crap like this is this is real like this is getting kind of wild now and it, it took itself seriously mm-hmm. or so we thought i think the minute that he kills what, what was his name buddy Buddy, the guy, yeah. the, the the poor security guard. Poor the guy. minute that Michael swings the axe and Lori wakes up and that was a dream, that is the biggest, biggest missed opportunity of the franchise. Because think about this. When Lori's huddled in there and Michael goes like this with the axe to swing it down and kill her, what if Brackett or Loomis, I know Loomis was injured, but if, you know, if he was able what if Brackett or somebody or even just a cop shot Michael in the back before he could swing the axe and she didn't wake up from a dream? Now, I'm not saying that you have to spend the rest of the movie in the hospital like the original Halloween 2 did. But if Lori, if he didn't get to swing the axe and then, you know, either Michael kills the cop who shot him or maybe if it's Brackett, him and Brackett have a killer standoff moment in the rain or something like that while Lori gets away something like that but if you just retconned like the last hour <laughs> really, and, really, that's the best way yeah hour and 20 minutes of that movie and you just continued it it's the same night it's raining Lori gets away bracket gets away loomis wakes up in the hospital and realizes like holy shit something's wrong like he finds all the dead bodies and stuff and you have basically the rest of h2 is like an all-out war scenario where bracket gets Lori to a safe place across town and michael is just going through town like butchering and just like destroying everything and loomis is hot on his tail wouldn't that be a much more interesting movie than just like what we got with michael chasing his mom all the time pretty much yeah i i agree with that and like, uh, that's that's what i would have done with h2 and i know i'm not a filmmaker i'm i know i'm not but like if i could change one thing about the halloween franchise that's what I would change. I like it, honestly. And again, like I was, I was just, just like how you were reacting to it. I wasn't too pleased with that being a dream. I was waiting for the time where she, like it turned into a dream. Cause like, it was like, it was pretty good. Like I liked the first 20 minutes of it, but yeah, I actually liked that, that uh, storyline a little bit better the way you put it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that sounds way better than what the fuck you got. I just, I don't know. I think it would be interesting, but um, Mm -hmm. real quick, what's your score?